Greetings YouTube, Kudis here, and let's continue the Iron Price for Tea! Where last left off, Scotland was being sieged, and my vassals were being idiots and decided that we should all exist on this island when only I was, like, enough to deal with it alone, so... We'll have to, you know, do what we can, and then hope that they all go back and deal with the other half of the war that I was hoping they would take care of instead of coming to drop on Scotland. Siege is going in our favor, things are good. Our prestige is unfortunately not good because I like throwing prestige away even when I shouldn't, like having PUs, for example. Um, which reminds me, Norway, positive opinion, very high. Liberty desire, below 45%. I could very safely just extract some free money from Norway again. And, uh, well, I'll just do it. Free money! Alright, uh, let's get admin points. I love that event. Keep my advisor, get admin points. Made bank out of Norway. Norway is a picky bank after all. Let's see how we're gonna piece this out. Is Scotland still 100%? He is exactly 100%. But, and that is a big but, if I was to fully annex this guy, um, that's a lot of ducats to throw away to bribe a guy. Or... Let's ask for papal authority and then lose prestige. Ah, oh. all right, fine. Um, Scotland and England in a coalition. If I take only that, but only that is an interesting amount. I would like Inverness as well, just for connection purposes. Although that makes a lot of Irish miners angry as well. Um, let's see. My boats are kind of busy right now. Can I take the trade ships and send them here? Uh, no, I can't. Bigger trade fleet. Mission fulfilled. Trustworthy allies. Acquire subjects. Awesome! I am so cool. Oh, I'll be able to diplomatically annex Holstein for cheaper. Let's keep hugging Norway for now. I do like extracting ducats out of this guy, even though he's not super rich. Um, Holstein is getting sieged. Is Inverness a Norwegian claim? It is not. The Isles, I don't care so much about. Um, cannot cross the damn strait. Let's take the trade ships. Actually, how big is Livonian's fleet? Oh, Livonian's fleet is currently under control. Okay, good. Where's my trade fleet? Trade fleet, make me less money. But control the strait. Uh, Bergen riots and Norway hates me, or... Uh, this is the end of Hanseatin in Bergen. I lose a bunch of ducats. Norway gets the Bergen riots. It insults all of Lubeck's trade league. Yeah, I'm not losing prestige. I'm gonna lose some money. Alright, are you guys benched? You are benched. You're not supposed to be benched. You're supposed to be blockading the strait. Next, we're gonna come over here. And uh, take control of the strait. So that we can properly invade the Irish Miner and stack wipe Scotland. That is, after all, what we are after. Uh, England is unfortunate. Can I just prevent some of the Irish from being angry at me? Like, Tyrone, can I, like, convince you that me fully eating Scotland is a good thing? Just gonna put that out there. Maybe. Okay, good. The Turconel boats hide. The Scottish boat's about to take a beating. Oh, hey, I ran into the Isles Transport that decided it wanted a piece of me. Hello, Isles Transport. Hello, Scottish trade ship. All right, the strait is mine. Oh, the Isles has a non-negligible fleet. All right. That is a thing. Come on, Norway, run away. There we go. Oh, Tyrconnell helped, that's why. That's fine. You're all fine. Now that the strait is ours. Not too much of a concern here. Now if only you guys could uh, do one of two things. Let me go... Uh, let me go talk to Tyrconnell. Which is unfortunately Woodlands. And I don't really want... Oh crap, it's Four Shock General. Beaten Seton. I don't want to fight that. He is still Tech 3 to my Tech 4 though. So I would have a good advantage fighting him. I should be shredding him. Um, can I walk this league each? No, I can't. Alright, let's just make a giant stack. 
as it was determined, and we'll uh, fight a deadly battle and impress all our vassal with our victory. Oh, that's a stack wipe. Nice. Okay, split in half. Take the other half and bring it back over here. Now you guys are done. Stop being in the British Isles. You do not need to be here. Ah, uh, Ulster canceled, canceled the thing. Alright, fine. I have 10 transports. I can bring 10 troops back. Okay. Let's park you guys on here. Um, let's bring you guys back to the heartland. Where, hey, apparently there's a Livonian order that wants a beating. I will gladly oblige. Is he still tech 3? He is still tech 3, so if I take a good general, that unfortunately cannot be the king, because the king is currently busy, Oh, his boats are running away. Norway, why are you here? Sotir Connell, why are you here? <sighs> Children, I swear. Okay, what do we got? I can't get anything out of my nobles. Um, do I have a general? I, can, I could roll one. I'm ahead of time, but not by much. That's fine. Let's roll a general. He's not great, but at least I have one. For when I fight this guy. You have entered the wrong neighborhood, Livonian Order. Excellent. Excellent. He's running away. Still has three troops back here. I would like to take some Livonian stuff. I would like to do a bunch of stuff right now. There's a lot of options for me to do things that would be nice. I could vassalize Tirconel and then feed him all of Ireland. That'd be amazing, actually. Did you ally any Irish miners? You allied Ofali. This thing. Who is only allied to England. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I do not care, but that would give me a, uh, an entry point. Oh, hey, I've taken a loan. Really? My economy is suffering? Why is my economy suffering? Oh, probably because my troops are healing. Yeah, that's probably part of it. Is it all of it? Reinforcements is a big part of it, as is fort maintenance. And uh, I have advisors. No, I, have, I have a bunch of advisors, that's also why. Yeah, uh, reinforcements. Yeah, reinforcements is the big one. I also have a bunch of forts. Do I need a bunch of forts? I don't think I need the fort in Lund. I think it's useless. This fort isn't very good either. I mean, it's useful. It's more useful than the other one, but uh, it's not the best one. It's also not good terrain. If I wanted a fort in this area, it's all bad terrain. Sex Lauenberg is probably peak fort for me, but that doesn't block Dietmarschen. Dietmarschen is peak fort. If I'm gonna have a fort prote protecting my heartland, Dietmarschen would have to be it. Okay. Oh, hey, there was a boat battle. Oh no, I've lost some sailors. Quick! Be sad. No, that's not happening. Innovativeness is going down because now we are not ahead of time in military anymore. Let's recall the Norwegian diplomat. Because we are about to piece ourselves out a Tirkonel. Go at 6 out of 4 Diplo slots. Actually, if I was to vassalize Scotland, let's clear offer and make you a Danish vassal. That's not so bad. That is not so bad at all. If I do that at Christmas, I can easily get Scotland as a vassal, but... The issue comes then with annexing him, and also with uh, Holstein might get some funny ideas. I think I'm better off vassalizing Tirconel, using him as a launching pad for an invasion. See, that's like no anger. Give me all of your non-existent ducats. Okay. Next up, you are allied with Clanricard and Ormond. You are allied with Kildar and Munster. You don't have a claim here. Okay, um, 
Duarte get a claim here and here. And here and here. Okay, actually that means... I kind of want to bring my troops back to the British Isles for more conquesting, but... It seems that the Swedes have finally realized where the Livonian Order is for fighting purposes. As has Norway, maybe? I'm not sure. Holstein uh, had an unfortunate encounter with them. But, uh, yeah, let's get our troops back to... Uh... Oh, there we go, that fort just finished. That is the perfect timing for us to return to the Irish Isles. This is unfortunate. I am not adding eight unrest anywhere in my nation. Not now, not ever. Okay. Um, should have someone improving relations with this guy. For purposes of... Oh yeah, he really doesn't want to be my vassal right now. But that's okay. He will get over it. Um... Let's recall the Tyrone, or also I can recall both of them, because I'm gonna attack both of them. I'm gonna attack a lot of Irish right now. Uh, Kildar and Munster. Tyrone is the one I want to go for first. Clan Ricard, or Ormond is unfortunately far. You are Kildar and Munster. Kildar is this one, and Munster is far. Yeah, so Tyrone is much more useful for uh, Clan Ricard. So let's go for it. Let's, uh... Encounter Ricard is only allied to you, so I can just co-belligerent him. Let us conquer a bunch of stuff in the Isles. Okay, Tyrone dead. That was easy, split in half. Oops, split in half. Um... Can I ask for military access? I'm not sure. You want to give me military access? I'm at war with people you probably hate. Alright. Take the uh, probably not wounded unled army. I can probably assign you a general when I get to Sleegeach. Then we'll go deal with Clan Ricard. We caught up to him. He is of the dead. Okay. Straightforward enough. Livonian Order is back to bullying Holstein. Poor, poor Holstein. Um, I think the only thing I want out of this guy is Osel. I think. I think. Um, we will have to see how we go about this. Uh, for now, let's convince uh, Tirconel that we're a wonderful overlord. Better Diplo Tech than me is a problem. Am I not focusing Diplo? I'm really not focusing Diplo. I'll have to focus Diplo. Once uh, once the opportunity presents itself, I'll have to focus Diplo. How is the Renaissance going? Oh! Oh, he's getting stacked. Wait, wait, Scotland has three troops in Scotland? Build troops in Holstein. That's amusing. That is very amusing. I don't know where Ormond's troops went. Oh, they went over here. Oh, he's gonna unseat Scotland? That'd be annoying. Um, no, Tirconel, your poor boats. Ormond, can I white piece you? I don't care about you. I really don't care about you. Apparently I cannot white piece you. Such is an unfortunate way of life. Okay. Hey, I thought you were sieging that. Why did you stop? Ah, uh, damn it, Sweden. What are you guys doing? You're doing it all wrong! Ah, <sighs> okay. Alright, that is happening. Can I, can I keep, uh, let's keep improving relations with Norway for now. Apparently the siphoned income penalty is, uh, still fairly high. Or, yeah, but it's decaying so quickly. We are still losing money, but not quickly at all. Actually, we'd be making money right now. I've lost a fort. Lost control of a fort, but I don't know which one that is. Oh, I deleted the fort at Lund. Yes, that fixed the economy. How to fix the economy in one step, according to Kundes. Delete forts. Yeah. Ooh, walls breached. Nice. Good job, guys. 
We're gonna beast both of these guys out. We're gonna eat so much Ireland. We're gonna deny it from England, and it's gonna be our uh, invasion ground. Can you get friends in Ireland so that I can, you know, attack you? That'd be amazing, thank you. Um, the idea is also I want to control my aggressive expansion. And by control, I mean if I kill all of the Irish, then the Irish can't care that I'm killing the Irish. That is my thought process. Okay, Clan Ricard is done. I will transfer you to Tirconel. Tirconel has the claim. Tirconel has the claim, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Clan Ricard, get eaten. He refuses. Very unfortunate. Understandable, but unfortunate. You are allied with Kildar and Munster. I don't want to touch Kildar right now. You need to find yourself another friend. Or or just get eaten by England. I'll come for you later when I go for England. Okay. Oh, I have no manpower left. That is truly unfortunate. Oh, he's gonna finish the siege. He is gonna finish the siege. Clan Ricard entered a military alliance with our enemy Ormond. Okay. Ormond has fallen. Ormond, you are allied with no one. No one. Which means you are probably about to get killed. That'll make my life easier. So, uh... Sure. Goodbye. For now. Clan Ricard will get killed. As was promised. Uh, why is he refusing? Why is he refusing? Oh, because there's, uh... There's something over there. Okay, we're gonna go deal with that. I'll lose some prestige again, because apparently I'm losing prestige now. Right, so we cannot piece out the Livonian Order in a sensible fashion. Because my vassals are too dumb. That would have been a nice opportunity. Uh, can I just... If they take one fort, I just need Ocel so I can fabricate on Riga and have access to Lubeck. That's all that I want. I want one thing, so I'll just wait. I will gladly just wait. And I will march my armies over there. And then hopefully you will accept peace. There we go. Give me all your ducats. Go away. Get in Tirconel. You will also get in Tirconel. We are feeding this guy so much proteins. So much Irish proteins. Okay. Done and done. Okay. We have unsieged Norway. I will split this army in half so it stops attritioning itself like a champ. How's my aggressive expansion? They they felt it. They felt that quite a bit. So again, if I if I'm suddenly to vassalize, let's say Scotland, which I will not do anymore, but uh, that's a lot of angry Irish. So one way or the other, I have some time to kill. Are you giving me access? You're giving access to Tirconel, so yes, kind of. Let's. Uh, why can I not cross the street? Are you not giving access to Tirconel anymore? Ulster gives access to... Oh, but Tirkonen is not in my war. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Kildar and Munster, which is unfortunate, but... Uh, it will be what it will be. I will attack. Oh, and he will not be joined by any of his friends. That is perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Send everyone we got. Not sure why your friends are refusing you, but it works to my advantage right now. Holstein can lose war exhaustion and love me for 35 ducats. That's a done deal. I'll also repay my loan. Hey, my economy is good again. It's 
League H, you are the next one on the list. Actually, can I just uh, go to war with you at the same time? I have military access, right? Let's cancel that. Because if Monster refuses one call, he will refuse all of the others as well. At least that's the logic. I sank some boats. Somewhere. I think it wasn't my boats fighting directly, but that happened. Oh, hey, Sweden will finally do something right. Excellent. Um, I will declare on you on July 21st. Do I have a general for you? I have a general for you. Let's go kill that. Let us go kill that! Okay. Hi, guy. Oh, come on. Oh, hey, that's Sleekeach. That's his army. We have found his army. We're retreating right here, which is perfect for a stack wipe. Squish! Uh, do I fight Sligeach? No, I won't. I'll just siege him. Or base race him. Okay, oh, I'm probably making money from uh, looting things too. Come on, Sweden, finish that siege. You have one job. You had one job since the beginning of this damn war. And it was to take Ocel. I want that three development. And I'll take it from my. Do I take it from my. Do I take Ocel or do I take Goldingen? Like Narva. Oh, hey! Fort has fallen. It's time for peace. Ocel, mine, now. You will accept and no one will care. Perfect. You won't even give me war reparations? For all this trouble? Alright, fine, I'll take the 145 ducats to the bank. Okay, thank you. Ocel. Kick and core this tree development thing that is very worthless. There is a bit of aggressive expansion being detected, but not much. I can enact a naval doctrine, which is the free boat acquisition doctrine. I will gladly click that button. Military tech 5. Our troops are somewhat relevant. I need to get manpower, though. Can I get manpower from these guys? The answer is very yes. It's not quite... It's actually, it's barely enough. It's enough, but barely, and not for long. I just got a DC's outbreak. It's no longer enough. Amazing. Uh, oh, I want to upgrade my troops, but I will do that at the end of the month. Yeah, sure. Local power holder. Norwegian rebels in Akuyeri. That is Akuyeri's problem. Um, at this time, I want to get the Gallo Glass infantry for stack wiping potential. Oh, hey, there's uh, rebels in Scotland. Wait, there's rebels in Scotland. Let's look at the piece again. I want that state, because it's a great state and it blocks England. And let's uh, remove the Danish vassal part of it. That is quite a coalition. One, two, three, four, five, six Irish and England. But Sligo and Ulster are currently dying, so there's four more Irish to account for. Um... So let's go improve relations with the Irish. We're not going to... Uh... Is Munster part of the problem? I don't think Munster is part of the problem, actually. If I look at that peace deal again, and I want Inverness. Yeah, Munster is not part of the problem, because Munster has been improving relations with us, and he's far enough. So, uh, Kildar Ofali. Ormond, I have a truce with for quite some time. So Kildar, Ofali, and Tomond are the three targets. So Ofali, Kildar, and uh, which one is Tomond? Oh, Tomond. But Tomond is probably dead. I have a feeling. So that's that's a good start. 
That is a good start, although I'll get a lot more aggressive expansion from eating these two guys. We'll need to be mindful of that. Moving forward. Um, are you sieging that? You're not sieging that. Oh, Vassal of England. Pleasant. Sligish has fallen. Let's transfer it to Tirconel. I cannot uh, full annex him. Come on, take to Adhumhain. That would make my life easier. Dorothea is a blessing. Yes, she is. Okay, my boats got kicked out. That is kind of annoying. Let's go protect them. Um, I have this, this call for peace. is really annoying, though. But I will peace out very soon. I just need to get these guys to about 50 opinion for now. The Irish can, you know, wait for extended pieces. Um, opinion's not going up fast enough, though. Man, do I want to eat some Scotland. Uh, I want to maximize the length of the peace deal. That's a good amount. Oh, hey, something disappeared. One, two, three, four, f one, two, three, four, five. No, they're still all there. It's just that the numbers moved around. Okay. Seems Tommen feels 35, but Tommen's about to die. I think. What is this war, anyway? Tommen and Kildar. Kildar is just not being pieced. Because he's being occupied by his peasants. Okay. Come on, Sligo, eat Tommen so that I can eat you. Or rather, so that I can eat Scotland. Let's look at the numbers again. Uh, 47 and 47, so that's essentially where I want to be. Oh, there we go, something changed. I saw the... Offaly disappeared. Oh, Offaly oh, oh, got out of the list? Did Offaly become an English vassal? Offaly oh, became an English vassal, so that takes care of that. That indeed takes care of that. You're at 48. Now if I look at the numbers, I count. One, okay, Ulster, I'll eat. Sligo, I'll eat. Ormond and Tommond. Tommond is dying. Ormond, I have a truce with. So right now it's already currently safe. Boom, peace deal. Okay. Excellent, we have achieved peace. I cannot core that. I cannot core that because there's rebels on it, but they're not my rebels, so... Whatevs. I will give the Highlands to Norway. Uh, I have a mission that is complete. Expand Denmark is complete. Now... I don't care about the Socinian heretics. They're not my rebels. I will go deal with them regardless. Oh, I can't cross the street right now. They are delaying the coring. Okay, another mission is complete. The Baltic Fleet. I've gained a permanent claim on Ossel. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. It's unfortunately too far along that if I cancel it, I will not get the full admin point back, I think. And then I would not get the full discount. Um, Scotland has been reduced to two provinces, two pitiable provinces. I'll be back for them later. Well, that's still 18 development. Muscovy has rivaled me, which is unfortunate. I still have to be careful with aggressive expansion in general, but right now I'm really... Oh, France actually felt 32. I'll have to be careful about how I piece out all of these other guys. Um, the Colster in particular. Actually, let's, let's just, just, just make sure that we can't get a coalition. Let's improve relations with both of these guys, just in case. Though I suspect England will go eat them. Or one of them. Kildar is dying. Yeah, Kildar is dying. Tommond is dying. Leinster is a vassal. Offaly is a vassal. I could see... Uh... Okay, Tirconel. Now. If I eat Tirconel, how bad is it for aggressive expansion? That is the real question. Let's repay the loan again. No, I am not going to unsiege Tredhumhain because I want Sligo to eat it so that I can eat, um, well, essentially eat both provinces at the same time. Hey, 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 hey. 
No. Bad Sligo. Go away. No one likes you. Okay. Magnificent. Oh, it's a stack wipe. Truly magnificent. I have apparently reached the end of the episode. So for now, I will thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time, where we'll seek to keep... Ex oh, there we go. He ate the thing. He did it. He did it. All right. See you guys next time.